To make your lampshade, you'll need a piece of fabric. Um, a thick kind of cotton works best. Um, you'll need your two lampshade rings, so your one with your fitting and your plain ring for the bottom. You will need a sharp pair of scissors, your um, stick it sticky back plastic, your lampshade tucking tool and your Tessa tape. So I'm going to start by um, putting my fabric on the table face down so that my design is on the underside. And then I'm going to take my um, Stick It plastic. Um, now it's very important that when you take your um, checked backing off this, that you don't uh, accidentally take off these sides here, because these pop off. I'll show you what I mean. So if you take off this back here, sometimes this little piece here can come away with this backing. At the moment, we want to keep this whole front piece as one panel. So I'm going to take this whole back piece off and stick it down in the middle of my fabric. Now, if you have a stripe or something, you might want to line it up with that, but mine's an all-over uh, pattern. So I'm just going to stick it down. Now, stick it down lightly to start with and flip it over and just check that you don't have any wrinkles. You can take it on and off again, but the more times you take it on and off, the less sticky the back piece becomes. So you want to avoid that if you can. So mine looks pretty good, um, no wrinkles there, so that's good. I'm just going to smooth that down properly and flip it back over. So now I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut down right to the edge of the plastic on the two long sides. So you can see now that I have um, cut both of these long sides. Now I'm going to choose one of my short sides and I'm going to cut that flush as well. And I'm going to leave my other um, short side. I'm just going to cut the width of my tape. I'm going to leave in fabric on that end. overhang in fabric here um, and I'm going to just use that to stick over so that I've got a nice neat edge on the outside of my shade. But before I do that um, I'm going to snap down, remember these kind of serrated edges that we really needed to keep with this front panel? We're going to remove them now so this is actually quite satisfying and you can just snap them. and peel them off. Now, try not to let your fabric fray too much as you do this. A lot of people worry at this stage that this isn't sticky. Where's the stickiness? Don't worry, we're gonna add the stickiness on with our Tessa tape in a minute. So do that for both sides. So there we go. Now we've got um, a border around three of my sides now that I've removed those little pieces of plastic. Now we can tuck over this edge here. So I'm going to take my Tessa tape and I'm going to stick a piece of tape on the edge of the plastic here and from edge to edge. I'll show you what I mean. You want your tape to be to the edge of this fabric here and then along the plastic here. And a top tip for getting the pink backing off of this is to go from under the plastic here. So a lot of people want to go from the edge here. If you put your nail under the plastic in the middle, it comes off much easier. And we're just going to stick that over neatly. And then you'll see got a nice neat edge on that side there. I'm going to pop this to one side and grab um, both of my lampshade rings. And I'm going to put some tape round the edge of the rings. Um, it's just as much in the middle as you can. So kind of like this. Now with my finger and thumb, I'm just going to squidge round that tape so it covers more of the ring. Now I'm going to do the same with the other one. 
So once they have got tape all around them, I'm going to pop them to one side. I'm going to keep the pink film on just now, just so things don't stick to them in the meantime. And I'm going to bring back my lampshade um, piece. Now see this piece that we stuck over here? I'm just going to put another piece of tape bang on top of that. And this is going to be the piece of tape that sticks our whole lampshade together. So you'll be able to see there, so it's from edge to edge and right on the edge of the shade. So again, you can take off the pink film on that. And now we can take off the pink film on our lampshade rings. Now a top tip here again is to take it off the one with the um, fitting first because you can lay that on the table like so and it's not going to stick to the table. So I'm going to start with this one. Now you're ready to roll your lampshade. Now I've switched sides so that I'm standing at this end of my lampshade piece. So it's facing right out in front of me here. The sticky end that we just um, put another piece of tape on is furthest away from me. Now that's very important because if it's um, close to you at like this end, um, it's not gonna work. So make sure that it's at the furthest end away from you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop the rings onto the plastic, not on the fabric, but bang on the edge of the plastic. Now, at the same time, I'm just gonna roll these up the edge of the plastic, making sure that they stay on the plastic the whole time. It gets kind of tricky when you get to this stage because you can't really see anymore. Um, so you just have to kind of keep looking side to side, making sure that you are staying in line. And then you can just push from the inside and smooth down your seam. So that is my shade pretty much rolled. I'm going to finish off by tucking in um, these edges here. But before I do that, I'm going to cut a slit at each of these three spokes on the underside. So just a simple slit like that. That's just so the fabric can go around either side of your spoke. Now you can grab your tucking tool and I normally use this pointed end here to tuck in my fabric. What you're trying to do is essentially you are splitting the ring from the plastic and tucking the fabric in between and sticking it back down. So you might hear a cracking noise um, as you do this. This is totally fine and actually means that you're doing it right. So I'm going to grab a piece of the fabric with the point of my tool. I'm going to pop it underneath the ring, you can hear that cracking noise and I'm going to smooth along smooth it together. Now you want nothing sticking out um, from under the ring there so you can just smooth your tool along and that will smooth away any threads or anything like that. So I'll do that one more time for you. I'm going to grab the fabric with the point of the tool and then stick it under. You can see there's the, the tool coming through there and then I'm going to go back and I'm going to run that piece along like that. So just tuck it under. Grab it with the point of the tool stick it under, you hear that cracking noise, run my tool right along. And you want to do this the whole way around. And there you have it, there is your finished 20 centimeter shade. Um, they're super easy to do and not expensive either. If you want to buy another um, 20 centimeter kit to make another shade, then we have them for sale um, over in the shop on our website. If you do have any questions at all, feel free to pop us an email at the Edinburgh Craft Club and we will try to um, get back to you. Um, and thank you so much for watching this tutorial.